We caught up with Jack on his triumphant return from hosting Parofest, his own sold-out festival in Holland and in the midst of a summer tour. So good to see you. Yeah, you too. You've just dropped a new album, Africa for Beginners. The name alone is very comical. What does being an African mean to you? Yeah, well, I mean, it means a lot of things. I think with the album, I was kind of playing on, on the whole thing about, like, you know, Africa's a special place, from the weird ads on the, on the telephone poles to, like, my friend calling his dog, please call me. And like, you know, it's like, it's like just like such a special place that is uh, such strange things. And above that still, also just like such a beautiful country. I'm so proud to be from here. And really, we don't know what we have. It's really just such an amazing country. So, so that's why I think I, 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 I called it Africa for Beginners as well. Is, and also my sister has this joke where she says, um, Cape Town is like Africa for beginners because if you come know, yeah, here, it's like pretty much a first, first world country in, in, inside a, a third world country. So it's a good place to start if you come to Africa for the first time, yeah. One constant in Jack's life has been a passion for bodyboarding. He's released his own Brysource, a memoir, comic books, most recently a brandy. But among his proudest achievements is the custom board created with Marc Rousseau and Michael Osler. This is exciting. Michael, how did this project come about? We got in touch with Jack a couple months ago for for him to ride one of my events in Durban. Uh, I didn't know that he was he was really good at bodyboarding actually and he kind of knew the science behind bodyboards and yeah, one thing led to another and uh, we met up a couple times, met up with Mark, ended up coming out with, with the paratrooper, yeah, pretty sick. Mark, so how do you make a bodyboard? Basically we shape the blank, which is the, the inner part of the board. Uh, we put some rail angles on, we do some laminating of the bottom slick and the top slick and we finish it all up, put some logos on, stamps on, and get in the water. So overall, how long does it take? Uh, average start to finish time on a bodyboard is probably about three to four hours. Oh, that's a quick turnover. Jack, what modifications have you made to the board? With a bodyboard, you can choose different um, tails, tails, which is like swallow, and I, I like a bad tail, which is this one. And then obviously this cool paratrooper logo. He's got like, your hat. Yeah, it looks sexy, huh? Yeah? <laughs> My say he's um, pretty stoked. Eyeballs popping out, having a good time. And then the biggest modification, obviously, also, this beautiful leopard print bottom, which is like, yeah, which is pretty right. I mean, most uh, bodyboards don't come out, out with anything. It's just like a straight color on the bottom. So they sort of look really nice and they did a great job to, to, to get it on. Normally, I was just expecting him to kind of choose cool colors and go with it. And he came with this full design, like he had an idea of what he wanted this board to do. And uh, yeah, it came out really well. I don't suppose you have a matching leopard print wetsuit. Well, I wish, but I do have a nice little furry one from Zion, which is nice and warm. So I think I'm more scared for you, eh? Rendana is going to be cold. <laughs> it's going to be very cold. Jack is as much his stage persona as himself, a guy called Zander Tyler. He's a man in balance. I've known you now for about three years, and a lot of people know of your party side, but you do have this active and healthy lifestyle too. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I, I try and, and be as healthy as possible. I think um, with my life being so intense and, and being a lot of, like I play at least two shows a week, like spending so much time in bars and stuff is obviously I have to like counterattack that with some active activity. And I, I'm getting in the water quite a lot, quite often the last while and kind of trying to get in the gym and trying to do things. I wrote my album now, so I was a bit bad for a bit, but now I'm back to it. But the way you jump on stage, that's an intense workout. Yeah, it is a workout. I must say it is a, it is a massive workout and it is a quite energetic show. And I think that saves me. I think if, my, if I was sitting down by a piano playing, I would have um, looked much worse already than I, than I am at the moment. How did you get into bodyboarding? Um, I grew up in I grew up in Cape Town or in in, in, in Durbanville, Belleville, and kind of grew up surfing mouthboards and that side of the world, and and also my whole life I've been on holiday by the ocean, places like Orniston and Ornus, uh, spent most of my life there. I'm just by nature uh, uh, kind of attracted to the ocean and ocean sports. Uh, I've just always always been on a bodyboard, always trying to to get to the ocean as much as possible. It doesn't look like there's too many waves out there, so we might be going for a bit of a romantic paddle. It gets, it's getting better. Hopefully we'll get some good waves. It's <laughs> 
my probleme in die glasse rand Ek het klaar om my slange in die gras verbrand Ek klaar gesoek na wat geld blijkbaar sal bring Ek klaar aan die einde van die nieuwe begin Jack has paid his dues getting here. He began rapping with crews from the Cape Flats while studying to be a mechanic and packing fish at the harbour. If he gets to have the celebrated chef of the Expresso show, Zola Nene, prepare a braai with his friends, it's something he enjoys and appreciates. Zola, this is such a nice surprise. Did you come in especially for us? I did, I did. Zander said he wanted to have a braai, so here I am, helping out. It looks amazing, yeah. huh? I don't know, this is a proper braai, huh? <laughs> <laughs> looks like you've done everything for us. I have. Well, you know, it's up to him not to burn anything, so <laughs> I'm going to leave it in your hands. But it's a, you know, regular braai. He's a man of simple tastes. And I've decided not to make your run-of-the-mill mayonnaise potato salad, because, you know, Zander, I know that you're into the health. So um, we're making, well, you're trying, you're doing well. You're doing well. Look, very spelt. Um, <laughs> so I'm making a mustard vinaigrette. So I'm just going to quickly um, whip some more up for you because this is the type of salad you can dress twice. A healthy dollop of Dijon mustard is the dominant flavor, to which Zola added fresh dill from Zander's garden, lemon juice for acidity, salt, pepper and olive oil, mixed with new potatoes pre-cooked in lemon zest to release their flavor. And there it is, potato salad with a difference for you, nice. especially for you. Oh, it smells amazing. It does, you... very fresh, eh? Hey? I yeah. thought you were going to lick the bowl. It smells great. You know what, yeah. I'm going to taste it. On that note, maybe I must start the braai. Yeah, the rest is up to you. Please don't burn yeah. anything. Yeah, I'm so precious, <laughs> but I'll do, I'll do my best. Marinated in rosemary, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper brings out the chop's natural flavour. You've gone through a body transformation. Have you been following a specific diet? Is diet important to you? Well, I think originally when I did it, I was like, I, I kind of followed a, some form of a diet, mm -hmm. but um, I think uh, I'd rather eat lacquer and, and drink lacquer and, and try and train a bit more. So that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's what, what, like, um, what I've done. Like, I'll, I'll say some form of almost like banting or that like type of style, so, but just kind of eating more meat and, 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 and trying to stay off the carbs and stuff as, as much as possible, which isn't always the easiest, but mm -hmm. as much as I can, yeah. Dis al weer laat aand en ek sal weer dronk op die straat Bra, vergeet waar ek is toe ek die tweede bottle klaar maak Your act is so proudly South African Have you had to adjust it for an international market? And did you ever imagine them understanding it and loving it the way they do? Yeah, yes, it's crazy. Um, I obviously, I don't, I don't adjust it. I, I keep it exactly you know, where, where I go. I, I, I keep it exactly like, like it is. Um, but um, yeah, I didn't expect it at all. When I originally re released Pulis Eka, it was also like a big hit in Ireland. So it was uh, in the Netherlands, it was also a number one hit. And then I got signed on a big label there called Top Notch. Um, and they just started bringing me over. So um, um, just started, yeah, since then touring there and doing like month stints, like doing like, say like go for a month, month and a half to like, 20, 30 shows and then and then come back again. So they're so set up for live music and, and, and people support it and it's, it's really cool, yeah. What do you miss about home when you're traveling abroad? I think it's just uh, just like this, like uh, hanging out and, and, and having a having a braai and being able to go for a surf, being able to just hang out, have some beers, talk some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that type of vibe, yeah. What do you think it is about your friend that resonates with the whole of South Africa? Um, I think it's just that he's authentic. He's uh, he's pretty much the South African dream, you know. He keeps uh, he keeps everything real. Uh, most of the artists nowadays all have American accents, and they try to do this whole persona. And uh, Jack Parra is just he's just real. He's South African, and yeah, it's sick. It makes us all proud. And for you. Oh, he's an excellent brand master. <laughs> you are one of the most authentic and humble celebrities South Africa has ever produced, and it has been such a pleasure to just hang out with you today. Laka, with you too. <laughs> and well done for schooling us on, on, on bodyboarding there. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was just fun indeed. The new album is a return to the lighter side of Jack Parrow, and it's lekker to have him back.